so today we uh, we were doing this biological basis of morphological variations wherein i told you yesterday that uh, genetic criteria may i will tell you a uh, little bit that which population or race has which kind of a genetic marker but 9.6 is all about these genetic markers only right so here we are not going to study lot of markers like uh, what are haptoglobins right then transferrins then many of them we are not going to cover here because then we have to uh, you know study what is maybe for example a haptoglobin right so wo jab tak when we will not study that to fir usko just studying ki which population has what doesn't make a sense so 9.6 mein we'll cover this a lot of part of 9.5 is overlapping in 9.6 so we are going to cover it there but a uh, little bit i can just tell you for this uh, uh, if you want to remember in this chapter also so first would be the most common uh, genetic marker that is the blood group so by far o blood group o is the most common in the world that means around 62% of the population in the world has blood group o followed by blood group a and then blood, blood group b so every person who feels that blood group b is very common because uh, that is what we indians think that b blood group is very common so they should feel good about it that it's not that common as we feel that it is but yes b blood group though it is not common in the world but asia may it is very common so that is why a lot of indians uh, have b blood group right so then you can see that 53% of the latin american population and 47% of african american population has o o positive theek hai in comparison to that asians and caucasians may ye ye percentage it's less theek hai and then b blood group is most common in asia and less common in latin america and caucasians so you don't need to remember the percentages thoda thoda you can just remember for example i just show you this graph so you can see that percentage of population that has o blood group so there there are populations jahan pe to almost 90 to 100% you know there is only uh, o blood group so at least that you should remember that okay you can say south american continent right and some parts of even north america theek hai then you can say eurasia may it's almost 50% theek hai so you can just remember with the help of a graph don't need to mug up each and every uh, percentage right so this was the first marker and then we go to the next marker that is the hemoglobin uh, our hemoglobin also has many polymorphs like the hps the sickle cell wala theek hai then hbc this is a uh, you know in the sixth position of the beta globulin there is a change so aise se karke there are different kind of hemoglobins now again this is going to cover uh be covered in the 9.6 ki hbs kya hai c e a so don't worry we are not going to cover it here just remember as of now and we are going to cover it there what is hemoglobin all of that its variants theek hai so hbs sickle cell wala america mein, uh, sorry africa it is very common also in south india it is found then in east africa hbc is found e1 is found in the southeast asia and punjabis so they have their own uh, hemoglobin only which is called the hb punjab which is found in sikh population lot of gujaratis and various other parts of the world theek hai so indians are the best they have their own hemoglobin also right so it's not hp uh, hbp but it's hb punjab right so let's go and see the next marker the next one is the cro chromosomal variation in the chromosomal variation we mostly look at the length of the y chromosome so uh, usually we have seen that if we draw two chromosomes like this this is the x1 on and if i draw a y1 y1 is a shorter chromosome right so sometimes the length of the chromosome can vary in any way theek hai na so some places it is relatively longer and and this longer uh, y is found in the japanese population whereas the the short one the very short length of the y chromosome is fa found in the australian aborigines okay so these were some of the genetic markers that we have studied here uh, there's one more that is the rh system like now ab abo blood group system humne padha tha 
सिमिलर एक और होता है विच इज़ कॉल्ड द आर एच सिस्टम दिस इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ द ए बी ओ ब्लड ग्रुप सिस्टम ठीक है एंड इट इज इधर आर एच पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव ना वॉट इज आर एच पॉजिटिव नेगेटिव नेक्स्ट चैप्टर नाइन पॉइंट सिक्स में कवर करेंगे राइट बट जस्ट रिमेंबर दैट आर एच नेगेटिव इज वेरी रेयर अमंग द मोंगलॉइड्स दैट मीन्स वहाँ पे यू विल नॉट फाइंड दैट बट आर एच नेगेटिव इज क्वाइट हाई इन द वाइट्स एंड यूरोपियन पॉपुलेशन यू कैन से सो वेरी कॉमन इन द वाइट पॉपुलेशन सो दिस वॉज वन ऑफ द जेनेटिक मार्कर्स एंड विद दिस वी कम्प्लीट द जेनेटिक मार्कर्स एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक विच इज द रेशियल क्लासिफिकेशन एंड एथनिक ग्रुप्स इन मैन काइंड नाउ वी हैव टाइम एंड अगेन वी वर स्टडिंग दैट we have the three races that we are studying the caucasians the mongolians mongolian and the uh, neg negroid right so humne abhi bola hai there are these three but these are not watertight compartments as we have studied right so in ke beech mein bhi there are very like different kind of uh, populations that are found like celtic there is i knew there is a uh, uh nilotic negroids then there are you know american mongoloids non american mongoloids there are lot of different kind of population there are nordics there are there are lot of different populations in these three bigger categories so with with time humne ye to bola ki okay three ye three hain okay but these have their own categorization and classifications now ये कैसे हुआ दिस हैपन बिकॉज ऑफ द रिसर्च बिकॉज डिफरेंट पीपल गेव देयर ओन डिफरेंट वॉट यू कैन से क्लासिफिकेशन एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी दैट हु क्लासीफाइड क्लासीफाइड बेस्ड ऑन वॉट एंड वॉट वो द द डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ कैटेगरीज दैट दे हैव गिवन ओवर द टाइम राइट सो दैट इज द टॉपिक दैट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर एंड टू मोरो वी आर गोइंग टू कवर different for example i'll just tell you jaise ki okay wait i'll just tell you tomorrow's topic is for example we start jaise abhi i told you na jaise ki caucasians hai caucasians mein you will find nordic alpine east baltic celtic ainu similarly in mongoloids you will find different classic arctic mongoloid theek hai eskimos then in negroes you will find nilotic negrito pygmies right there are different different categories among the bigger categories also so this we are going to cover tomorrow each and every one i am going to teach uh, we'll put the pictures and we'll uh, try to what we'll do is na we'll uh, we'll draw the map and with the help of the map we'll try to locate the populations in different places so that it is easier for you to remember everything because otherwise these are just names and it is very likely that every one of us can just forget them but if we'll map them so it will be easy for us to understand so tomorrow we are going to do it and don't worry about that now let's start with the racial classifications so the f very first attempt you can say of classifying the these races has even been done in india and in our ancient sanskrit literature theek hai where there was a lot of debate that was ki there were a population in india which was the dark complexion which were who were called the nishards okay or the australites and there was a population who had the yellow color or the kiratas jinko hum mongoloids bol sakte hai right the belt inhabiting the north uh, himalayas theek hai western eastern theek hai that will be the indo mongoloid population wahan pe humko milti hai and then there were people who had come jinko hum bolte the aryans who had come from the outside right the the light skin right so this uh, this uh, variation among the skin color also intrigued the indian population to study the races right so it was bernier who first attempted to classify humans into different categories now let me tell you guys this topic ki who classified and what happened it is not uh, i have not seen as such any question in the previous years theek hai so this much information you just you should just remember don't uh, try and cram it it is not like very very important but then also you should have a 
uh, you know idea because the different type of questions that are coming today so they they might occur a question in the future that try and attempt ki how the racial classifications over the year by different uh, scientists have been done so there this uh, information will come a lo lot handy okay so then bernier was the first person who tried to classify the humans into races then bradley made another attempt and he tried to systematically study the racial types and usne three categories diya one was the whites who he called the either the bearded or the or the beard beardless then he he called the negros who were the straight haired or the woolly haired that means straight bhi ho sakte hain woolly bhi ho sakte hain and then there are intermediates that that are mulattoes now what are mulattoes i'll just show you tomorrow for example if you want to just remember uh, you you might think of a, maybe a rihana theek hai she she might look like a mulatto theek hai so mulatto populations are intermediate between you can say people who have uh, black and whites when they have matlab when they mate and when they have kids उनको मुलेटो बोलते हैं सो दे आर नीदर लाइक वाइट और नीदर ब्लैक सो दे हैव अ इंटरमीडिएट टाइप ऑफ अ मतलब रेशियल कैटेगरी सो टू से राइट सो दीज आर दीज वर द अर्ली पीपल हु ट्राई टू डू इट एंड अर्ली सिविलाइजेशन वेर इट हैपन एंड दिस इज द पिक्चर गाइज यू कैन सी वन इज़ फॉर द बॉयज एंड वन इज़ फॉर द गर्ल्स सो दीज आर कॉकिसॉइड्स नेगरॉइड्स मोंगलॉइड्स देन अमेरिकन्स ऑस्ट्रॉइड्स सो दीज आर सर्टन kind of people that you can see and this picture is for the boys from different ethnicity and racial classifications these are five different beautiful young women so i know for the girls the picture and isn't that great right so la yeah so then there was linnaeus who proposed a very systematic classification and just uh, see his classification how derogatory can it be and how uh you know ethnocentric can it be just see so what he did he classified into six divisions and he said there was hum homo furus that was the, that were the sa savage then the homo americans who were the free and the contented the homo e europeans who were lively and inventive then homo asiatics very stern and naughty then there were negroes who were according to him slow and cunning and there are homo monstrous who are the abnormal so can you just see the kind of uh, you know the kind of classification that uh, he has done right so then uh, way back blumen batch also did a, a racial classification based on the craniological material that means the cranium or the you can say jo brain ka brain case hai na on based on that so he said there there are caucasians there are mongolians ethiopians americans and malayans theek hai so there are these five categories of people then comes your these are also some pictures that i have taken there were not many pictures on the internet about different racial types so whatever pictures i found i just put it then very important these are ottenberg wiener and the next one hutton that we are, i am going to show you now these three are important because hutton to as such uh, his classification we are going to also study in the indian anthropology uh, in indian continent ke uh, in indian country and uh, subcontinent you can say in that respect and ottenberg and wiener's classification is also important because ottenberg's classification was the first scientific jisne uh, he who gave a classification based on the blood group that is the abo system all of that so he also classified into six groups that were the europeans the intermediate hunan hindu manchu afro malaysian and pacific Afri uh, american right so you need not to remember which were the six categories but just kisne kis basis pe kiya for example ottenberg he did on the basis of racial he did a racial classification theek hai wiener Wiener also did on the basis of ABO blood group, MN blood group, and RH blood factor. के बेस पे. And he gave uh, categories such as Caucasians, Negroid, Mongoloid, Asiatic, Pacific, Australian, Amer uh, Amerindians, and Eskimos. ठीक है? 
so these were the classification of wiener and then i know this is a very dry topic guys you need to little mug up also but as far as i know uh, till tomorrow you'll be very clear with the each and every term that is mentioned in this slide particularly so hutton's classification very important he gave it in 1931 he suggested a four fold classification theek hai jisme he said there were certain primary races and then there were sir, certain composite races for example composite races mein you can say mulatto is a very classic example because if if i consider negroes and whites or caucasians as primary to inke beech mein if there is a mating happens so mulatto would be a intermediate type so he said that there are certain uh, primary and then there are certain intermediate groups theek hai so whites mein he said there are caucasians certain U european africans and europeans are there and usme he said there is mediterranean ainu celtic nordic alpine baltic this is the topic for today uh, sorry tomorrow hutton ki classification hum bahut deeply kal karenge right then he said then there are negroes jisme african negroes aate hain nilotic aate hain negritos aate hain then the mongoloids which are classic and arctic ones and then the composite races that means jo इंटरमीडिएट टाइप्स भी तुम कह सकते हो राइट सो दीज ग्रुप्स इंक्लूड वंस दैट आर प्रिडोमिनेटली वाइट प्रिडोमिनेटली मोंगलॉइड एंड प्रिडोमिनेटली नेगरॉइड तो नेगरॉइड में ही सेज मलेशियन पैपोन्स ठीक है बुशमेन हॉट एंड टॉट्स ठीक है मले मोंगलॉइड्स में ही सेज इंडो मले पॉपुलेशन अमेरिकन इंडियंस एंड एंड वाइट में ही सेज ऑस्ट्रेलियन एंड इवन साउथ इंडियंस so indo dravidians so these are the topics and we'll go and study them with the help of the map with the help of pictures tomorrow right so guys if you i know this topic was a little too uh, you know like cramming wala part so try and just uh, thoda thoda just two three lines you can write in your uh, notes for this itna deep you don't need to go into this but i had to just tell you so i just uh, put it in the slides okay guys so if you did like it please like share and subscribe and thank you so much